Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today, we actually got some surprise patch notes within Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone, including some more additional new weapon changes, some gameplay updates, general fixes. So we've got a lot to dive into here. Was certainly not expecting any actual patch note updates to go live today, but nonetheless, here we are. Now we're starting first on the multiplayer and zombies page. We've got our Tuesday, January 23rd update now live. So for global updates here with customization, operator skins and blueprints, that are not actively available in the store can now be purchased directly via the armory this does not include limited time upcoming or discounted items but an interesting update if you're looking for specific skins or specific blueprints that you might not always have available in like the for you section of your store there in multiplayer for ui and ux address an issue causing camo challenges to appear multiple times during the after action reports so or just a visual bug there uh selecting the carrick 311 k optic attachment will no longer unexpectedly kick the player back to the menu another small quality of life update uh revised multiple attachment descriptions to better reflect their true effects including the uh x10 erx10 mini optic the tac 840c stock and the cdg t25 light barrel they also revised the fully loaded challenge descriptions to clarify attachment requirements for the fully loaded camo challenges you have to have all five attachments on a gun and that's what they're looking for there so they just made that easier to understand progression the broken signal camo for the tack evolver can now be progressed to completion you'll love to see that and then also the electric shock event challenge uh, will now track progress as intended you love to see that as well uh for modes souped up limited time mode the temp v abilities can now be earned more than once per life they also adjusted the columns displayed on the in match scoreboard for kills confirms and denies in private match they also updated the rule set for cdl now we get some interesting multiplayer based weapon and attachment updates Many balance adjustments in today's update target aftermarket parts. In the following section, you'll find insights from our design team that aim to explain the intent behind some changes. One goal of our design team is to create conversion kits that offer players fun and unexpected experiences with familiar weapons. Part of this goal is to maintain a balance where conversion kits enhance a weapon's capabilities without overshadowing its original role. So sometimes the conversion kits are too good, sometimes they're useless. Uh, based on your feedback and a review of recently released aftermarket parts, we've implemented significant changes changes for you to experience today looking ahead we've refined our approach to balancing aftermarket parts to ensure they're powerful worth the grind and most importantly fun so initially on the assault rifles for the holger 556 the jack signal burst they increased the gun kick control benefit by 10 percent the recoil benefit by 10 percent and decreased the burst fire delay a tad bit there although the jack signal burst possesses lethal one burst kill potential its recoil often limits its effectiveness at the most common engagement ranges additionally its burst delay caused difficulty in landing up a follow uh, landing a follow-up burst to confirm kills today's today's update changes those weaknesses uh making this aftermarket part a more favorable option so just a little bit easier to use and a little bit more aggressive there for battle rifles on the sidewinder the jack thunder lmg kit decreased the bullets required to reach the maximum fire rate from 25 to 15 so basically you're going to get into that max like spammy lmg crazy fire rate just 10 bullets earlier so that's nice to see there the jack thunder lmg kit is all about committing to a gunfight and letting the rate of fire accelerate to deadly rpms today's change gets this weapon to its maximum damage potential significantly faster let loose equip the bfb muzzle or the uh brake attachments and pre-fire to your heart's content for maximum effectiveness on smgs the amr9 so they actually did a decent amount of updates here uh they actually decreased the maximum damage range decreased the near medium damage range decrease the medium damage range increase the headshot damage multiplier decrease the lower torso and lower arm multipliers and the hand multipliers increase the upper leg multipliers and the lower leg multipliers and the foot multipliers as well they also increase the rate of fire a decent amount there that's just on the general amr9 there so they nerfed its range a little bit but also you're going to be more rewarded for hitting lower body now it's actually a decent change there in general but for multiplayer specifically and then on the jack etten double barrel kit they overhauled the firing mechanism to to simultaneously fire two bullets per shot added locational damage multipliers to basically all parts of the body as well they decreased the aim down sight spread by 75 percent essentially there was bloom on this gun which made it absolutely awful in general so that's a decent update there they also decreased the hip fire spread penalty by 50 percent so upon release in week six, the Jack Etten double barrel kit did not function as designed. With this update, this conversion kit has been reworked to truly fire two bullets at once. It's no, it is no longer a two round burst. 
noticeably improving its time to kill. Additionally, we've significantly reduced the aim down sight spread and recoil of the kit, allowing for better control and close to mid range engagements. Uh, there's also, you know, different loadout recommendations that they're dropping here for them as well. Uh, on the Rival 9 Jack Headhunter Carbine Conversion Kit, they decrease the maximum uh, damage, decrease the medium damage, and the minimum damage, so it's going to be weaker entirely now. They increase the headshot multiplier, the neck multiplier, and the upper torso multipliers, and decrease the burst fire delay, the sprint to fire penalty, the ADS penalty, and the hip fire spread penalty. So true to its namesake, the Headhunter Carbine Conversion Kit is the most is most lethal when accurately landing shots to the head and upper torso. Today's changes increase its lethality and decreases the burst fire delay in order to improve its ability at uh, to duel at a distance. We intend for this aftermarket part to play more like an agile mid-range assault rifle rather than an SMG. So that's the main intent of those changes there. We also saw changes to the DM56 jack signal burst kit, increasing the control uh, across the board and then also reducing the burst fire delay just like above on the Holger. For equipment, the Breacher Drone detonation upon impact within five meters will now occur with a decreased de uh, detection radius. Previously, the Breacher Drone could not detonate upon impact with a player within the initial five meters of its flight. Now it can be uh, detonated with a reduced detection radius within this range. Addressing reports of the drone passing through enemies, functionality beyond five meters is still the same as before. So just making it a little bit more consistent up close. Then in Zombies, a couple of updates here for Warlords. Warlord randomization. Uh, Dockaby's week-long spotlight has ended, and now a random Warlord will be selected at the start of each match. Players can now view which Warlord is active in the attack map. Players can also progress the Act 4 mission Storm the Castle uh, by eliminating any Warlord when their mission is active. Also on Dockaby, players will no longer be able to eliminate them uh, with one-shot multiple weapons. In one shot with multiple weapons there. So a couple of swift changes to the Warlord system. We also have some new Warzone updates as well. So as we're getting into these patch notes, just a quick reminder, if you guys are new to the channel every single day, I got you covered with news, updates, patch notes, meta breakdowns, everything going on in COD is right here. So feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and drop a like on it as well. It is always seriously appreciated. But we also got our Tuesday, January 23rd patch notes here, and it's a decent amount of bug fixes. So they fixed an issue that would cause players to encounter an error while attempting to open a custom loadout menu of a loadout drive up obviously loadouts have been bugged since season one reloaded so there's still a couple of underlying issues there that addresses that they fixed an issue with text alignment on the champion's quest tracker widget an issue causing an incorrect icon to appear when pinging cash deposit balloons and plunder an issue that was causing the champion's quest tracker to show progress towards a new token when the on I don't think that's finished there. Uh, an issue that was preventing the bounce back alacious daily challenges from tracking self revives. I didn't even know that was a challenge. Uh, fixed an issue causing perk packages to equip incorrectly when selecting a loadout. That's a huge, huge update there. Finally fixing the perks. They also fixed an issue causing the Champion's Quest third element to spawn without destroying the attack helicopter and an issue causing the Champion's Quest safe to not be marked on the map. So just a small little bug fix update on the Warzone side of things. Obviously more significant updates happening within multiplayer today, but some surprise patch notes nonetheless with some decent changes to the conversion kits. Nice to see those directly attacked there. But that being said, that is going to wrap things up for this one. If you enjoyed the video, once again, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And of course, if you're new here, you want to guarantee you're always up to date between MW3 and Warzone, be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day and I'll catch you later. Peace out.